Cisco CSEN or CCNA home lab. What equipment is good to get and what equipment should you stay away from? We're going to talk about that and more coming up. Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to IT Career Skills where we give you advice and insight on how to grow your career in the IT field. My name is Dakota and today we're going to be talking about the CSENT and CCNA certifications and then particularly about those building your own home lab. So if you've been following the channel for a little while, you know I'm getting ready to take my Cisco CSENT and CCNA certifications. So I started dusting out my old Cisco routers and switches and decided well you know a lot of people ask what equipment's good to buy and what equipment's not. And if you look online, there's a lot of YouTube videos, there's a lot of information. So I figured I'd give my two cents on this topic on some of the equipment I personally have bought from my home lab and what I can recommend to you. So if you're interested in purchasing any of the equipment, I've linked it all in the description below. You can go check it out, see what else is out there. It's really hard to find some of this older equipment. So hopefully by the time you go check them out, they're still available. So for anyone looking to go take their Cisco CSENT or Cisco CCNA certification, so one of the first things I recommend picking up is get yourself a set of switches. This here is a Catalyst 2950 switch. It's a 24 port switch and you know what this is a little bit of an older switch but you can do nearly everything you need to do on the Cisco certifications on this switch. Now if you're looking to step up to a little bit newer of a switch what I'd recommend, what I have linked in the description before, below, is the Catalyst 3550. So these, this switch here, this one's a 48 port switch. Way overkill for what you need. But the price was right. I picked this up for about 20 bucks at the time of filming this. So 20 bucks, you get yourself a, a 10-100 switch that can do nearly every single task you need to do for your Cisco CSENT, for your Cisco CCNA, and even help start carrying you into your Cisco uh, CCNP. Like I said, what I love about these switches though, is you can pick them up dirt cheap. I picked this one up for about 20 bucks. I have a link to it below in the description. But keep in mind, for 20 bucks, you're not getting something new. This has been a well-loved switch. It works great. But, I mean, if you look here on the top, I don't know how well you can see it in the picture, there's scratches all over it. And, you know, just cosmetic damage. But you you know what this thing works amazing so I recommend at least picking up two of these next thing I recommend picking up for your home lab is get yourself at least two Cisco router this year is the 2600 series Cisco router I actually have three of these I picked up off of eBay on the kit and once again like I said you're not getting anything new but I picked up all three of these routers for under $20, under 20 bucks. And I have some linked up in the description below. They're a little bit more spendy now. They're starting to get hard to find. Go out and get yourself two switches, two routers, and that really there is the fundamentals of your lab. The only other thing you'll need to pick up is a console cable and a USB to serial adapter. And once again, link in the description below, go pick those up. That way you can actually console into these switches and perform your commands. So anything after these few items is really just extra. You know, you'll see people out there on Amazon and on eBay selling these home lab kits where they have this fancy tabletop rack and all this, and they have like a three, four hundred dollar price tag. Absolutely not. You don't need to go spend three, four hundred bucks on a home lab. My whole setup here cost me about sixty bucks. Sixty bucks for this whole setup. So I'd like to hear from you guys. Do you guys currently have a home lab? Are you getting ready to go take your Cisco CCNA certification? What equipment do you have at home and what equipment are you labbing on? I plan on putting out tons of videos where you'll see this equipment here in action, where we'll be setting up different labs and we'll go through some study groups where we'll set up labs and we'll walk you through the process and everything. So I'd like to hear from you guys what you have at home. That's it for today, guys. I just want to put a short video out if you're looking to start your CSEN or your CCNA certification and you're wondering what kind of lab equipment to buy. I want to give you guys my opinion on what to go out and buy. If you like the video, please make sure and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you receive notifications when we release new videos. That's it for today. Until next time, take it easy.